And now, BillyCBoxing.com presents Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down with Billy C. Here he is, Billy C. Thank you, Jeremy C. We're coming at you from the Billy C. Studio in Lake George, New York. I'm Bill Calagero. And it's time for BillyCBoxing.com's Pro Boxing. Thumbs up, thumbs down for today, November 1st in the year 2012. First and foremost, don't forget to check us out on uh, Fight Now TV. You can get Fight Now by calling your local television provider and tell them that you want Fight Now added to your sports channel lineup. For all the information about the channel, you can find it on their website, www.fightnow.com. And uh, speaking of now... Uh, don't forget about our daily boxing talk show. That's right. The Talking Boxing with Billy C show is in its 10th year. We are the longest running boxing talk show on the planet. There has been no other show that has run consistently for 10 years every day like we have. So uh, congratulations to, uh, well, to us. So check out the show. It airs live every single day right on Fight Now. You can also check it out on the web, uh, BillyCBoxing.com. It airs live 5.30, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. That is scheduled to change in the near future. But you can check out the replays uh, on LDL TV. Uh, you can also uh, play the replay back on BillyCBoxing.com. YouTube has our, our own channel up there. And, of course, you could become a premium podcast subscriber, which we hope you do not only uh, to enjoy all of our content, uh, which uh, not everyone gets, plus you get the full versions of everything, but you'll also be supporting our show. It's only $15 a year. That's right. You heard it right. 15 bucks a year. Jeez, man, you can go into a bar and, and buy uh, two beers and tip the bartender out for, for more than 15 bucks. So uh, do us a favor. Support the show. Become a premium podcast subscriber. $15 a year. For all the information, you can check it out on the website, www.billycboxing.com. Okay. Thumbs up. Yesterday, we didn't have any thumbs down. Today, we got several thumbs down. We got two thumbs up. Thumbs up first goes to... Uh, the first bro, pro boxing card in Afghanistan, uh, which took place on Tuesday, it was billed as the fight for peace. And the main event featured an Afghan fighter in the middleweight division, uh, Hamad Rahami. And he improved to 21-1 and one with 10 knockouts uh, with a seventh-round stoppage over Saeed Mabilwa. Uh, it was nice to see a pro boxing event uh, go off without any issues in the war-torn torn country, war -torn country of Af Afghanistan. You know, originally I was pretty... Uh, uh, critical of, of having, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I was a little critical of having uh, a pro boxing match uh, in Afghanistan, but the more I thought about it, uh, uh, the more uh, I thought it was a good thing, and for it to go off uh, without any problems, without any hitches, uh, uh, and uh, pretty much be successful at the gate and everything else was a, was a positive. Uh, I would like to see more uh, stuff there, and, and you know, I, I wish uh, uh, worldwide, globally, all of, all of the countries in, in our, on our planet would really focus on, uh, uh, you know, helping each other out and, and really concentrating on, on making sure that th their own country is uh, uh, running well, uh, like a fine-tuned uh, tuned automobile, uh, rather than uh, sticking their nose in other people's business. But uh, nonetheless, uh, it was a uh, decent turnout, and uh, thumbs up goes to uh, uh, everyone that put that uh, uh, Fight for Peace card together. Thumbs up also goes to uh, Amir Khan, uh, and Carlos Molina for fighting each other on December 15th. This is a good fight and a very tough so-called comeback fight for Amir Khan. We've got to give Amir Khan credit for taking this fight. Nobody would have uh, uh, given him any kind of criticism for taking a lesser opponent, but he chose to take a, a decent opponent in uh, Carlos uh, Molina, and it's also his first fight under his new trainer, Virgil Hunter. I give Amir Khan all the credit in the world uh, for taking this fight. It's no layup. Uh, first fight back after his loss to Garcia. First fight back with a new trainer. Uh, first fight back in Carlos Molina's hometown. Come on, man. Thumbs up to Amir Khan. However, we get into our thumbs down. I got to throw it some. I, I'm throwing a thumbs down to Amir Khan, who I just threw a thumbs up to. Today, I'm giving him a thumbs down. I gave him, just gave him a thumbs up for taking that fight. I'm giving him a thumbs down for telling reporters yesterday that uh, the main reason why he left uh, Freddie Roach was because uh, Freddie's Parkinson's disease was affecting his training capabilities, when the truth was was uh, Dax just wanted a trainer to focus on him, which I agree with, and, and he shouldn't be ashamed of that. Uh, but uh, I have to give him a thumbs down for kind of 
dragging Freddie into the conversation and uh, specifically uh, uh, dragging the disease that Freddie uh, uh, obviously is publicly battling. And, and we all give him credit uh, for uh, so far uh, uh, staying one step ahead of, of a disease that we know eventually is going to catch up and beat uh, Freddie Rhodes. So I, I got to give uh, Amir Khan a thumbs down uh, to that uh, for, uh, for bringing that in. Uh, thumbs down to uh, the WBA. Uh, for their long list of ultimatums concerning their top name uh, uh, champions that they have uh, and, and their futures. For example, Vladimir Klitschko and Andre Ward, who are considered the champions in their respective divisions, both have to fight the WBA regular champions, uh, since both are considered super champs. Uh, within the next six months, uh, it's even less for Vladimir uh, in order to maintain their belts. You know, to be honest, neither one of these two guys uh, need the WBA belt. If I'm Vladimir Klitschko or Andre Ward, I say, forget about it to you, WBA. We don't need your stinking belt and throw it in the trash can like uh, so many other fighters have done before. The WBA uh, is just, uh, you know, greed. Uh, You know, uh, greed is going to kill you, man. Greed is going to kill you, WBA, and stupidity also. So between the the combination of being, you know, kind of stupid and uh, being greedy, uh, it's going to kill you. So uh, if I'm uh, uh, if I'm those two uh, superstars in the divisions, Andre Ward and uh, of course Vladimir Klitschko, I say forget about the WBA. Do what you want. Fight who you want. We all support these two champions specifically. And the list goes on. Listen to today's uh, Talking Boxing with Billy C. Show. We get into it. Uh, also, my final uh, thumbs down goes to. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. That's right. I said it, man. You know, we've been uh, not talking about Floyd because he's a non-issue as far as I'm concerned in the sport right now until he schedules uh, another fight, if he's even going to fight. Um, I, the reason why I'm giving him a thumbs down today is because of his comments about Manny Pacquiao. He said that Manny Pacquiao is declining and he's desperate because he's agreed to fight, uh, lower his expectations from a, a 50-50 demand to 45-55. And uh, Floyd says uh, uh, because of doing that, uh, he's proven that uh, he's in desperate, and the fact is that since he lost uh, his last fight that his value has gone down. You know, here's the thing. Um, you know, a fighter to me, you could look at that two ways. I look at a fighter that uh, is willing to take less money for a fight uh, more as a fighter that just wants to kick the crap out of somebody. You know, how many times, I'll fight you for nothing, you SOB, you know. Um, so, you know, I think my biggest reason I'm giving Floyd a, a thumbs down isn't for his, his uh, BS and, and for his rhetoric and, and all his BS propaganda he tries to spread uh, around uh, uh, about uh, potential opponents. It's the fact that this guy is, is ultimately uh, trying to gear young fighters and fans into thinking that having an undefeated record makes you a good fighter. And once you lose, you're not good anymore. That is a false statement. And Floyd Mayweather Jr. could still be considered a great fighter, even if he had some losses. The problem with Floyd Mayweather is he doesn't fight anybody. You know, if if Manny Pacquiao is declining and he's desperate, if I'm Floyd Mayweather, beat him. At least he got him on his record and he could say he could fight him. Fight him and beat him. You know, whether he's at the end of his career or not, you know, at least you can fight him and beat him. Thumbs down to Floyd Mayweather. You know what? You're a great fighter, but you're a scum as a person. Hey, that concludes our uh, thumbs up, thumbs down for today. Uh, Make sure you tune in tomorrow, all right? Oh, yeah. Ciao, baby.